Okay, so we're back here. Heading into scene two. Uh, we just we just finished there with the weird fire situation, and we're about to go over to, uh, over this weird bridge here. So Red let's Creek go. Valley seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life: no place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Okay, so Mr. Prospero here, um, obviously, is giving up his job soon. This is his last one, figuring out what the hell happened to Ethan Carter. So, straight away with this cart thingy. We have blood on it. Mm -hmm. It's an animal, it's a human. Is it on purpose? Find out. Crankshaft, fresh wrenches, recently used. So we can say that this crankshaft was recently used. So it gets further apart and gets closer. When I do that. So we can see. It's next to rocks, water. And we can see the dam in the background, so. It's on the water edge close to us. Let's check the rest of this out. Um, we can enter here. Okay, so back and forth, back and forth. I'm assuming we need the crankshaft to actually start it up. Maybe it'll help us some way through this scene. But other than that, can't really see anything that's any use to us. Um, then we have a right forward and a left here, so. Yeah, the right just parallels the train tracks, so let's check the right left here. There might be something hidden, but maybe not. Maybe so. No, no. Okay, so that was just a dead end. So let's head to the right, we might find something. This box now, oh, this rope here. Cut ties. Untied, one was tied, so no blood. Okay, but we do have blood here. Alrighty, so we have some poor sod's legs. Mm, yeah, where is the rest of the corpse? Blood trail. Uh, it looks like he's trails there, victim. He's dragged away, crawled away, maybe. I don't know, maybe dragged. I mean, how do you survive that? Under construction. Okay. So we've got a body here. Where's the blood from? I mean, his legs, I assume. But oh, he's got a fractured skull, okay. So his head's probably been bashed in with something. Right. Oh, this this looks like where the crankshaft was. So I think we should go and quickly investigate, maybe try and find the crankshaft down here. Or we might find this useful in some way to this scene. Maybe it's for another scene later on. But we know it was leaning against a rock. Could see out to the water with that in the background. I can't. I mean. Oh, there it is. There. No. Nope. Yeah, there it is. All right. Yeah, and we have the crankshaft, and it's got blood over it. So maybe that is partly what was used. So I think we should head back up here at the train tracks, and we might find something more useful. Like whatever the hell that is on the ground there. Weird tracks. Okay, well there's nothing over there. So, we've got severed legs there. We have gasoline. Or oh, diesel, you know, can be diesel. Um, I would say it's been done in a rush. And we have some dry grass here, and we're gonna go with. This is where the thing was sitting beforehand. The train. So. I think we should head back to the real car. So clearly the real car has been used to chop this guy's legs off when he's been tied down. But then again, why would they tie him halfway up there, then his legs be halfway 
down, so I'm gonna go with someone else was tied up. And he severed his legs, maybe helping him. I mean, that, that's that's my idea up now, maybe. I think we should head back up here and use the actual crankshaft. Maybe we can get the thing to move. Might be useful. Might there might be more clues underneath it. Let's try it out. Kinda off. Do we do we doesn't need to be in a specific place? Of course just need to be off. Unless there is a fuel limit and it runs out and then we'll be a bit screwed there. Let's just move it forward, it might work. Some noise there. So we know the canister happened that way, we know the crankshaft was that. Mm, there's not much else here then. Use wise. That can't be it for the scene though. We still have this thing here. Okay, so there's clearly more clues to go with this guy. More down so on the tree. No? Let's head down the road here, there might be something. Ah, no, no. That looks like a dead end. No, there was a place over there, but it doesn't seem much use. I don't think there's anything down that way. Oh, we've got an inspect here. <laughs> a rock missing, I'm assuming. Oh, we'll get another one. There we go. A rock, an extra tree stump. Oh yeah, we passed the tree stump, it's just on the left as I walk down. So there should be a rock in there. Ah, right, there it is. So we no, that's what I'm going to go with, bash the guy's head in with. So let's put this thing back in this little slot. Nothing happened. Okie dokie. I still think I must have to get this like on the exact spot, so I'll literally forward a few inches. I'll just leave this thing running to be honest. I don't think it matters. Okay. No? Okay, I'm gonna go with that is kinda useless at this point. Hmm. There must be something else. Okay, so maybe uh, maybe the rock was the thing. Okay, some creepy shit's going on here. 
lights. Okay. We install. Oh, right, I can walk. That would make sense. So, what the rock is? What's the rock used for? Uh, okay, we've got this one here. That's the same guy who's on the floor. Yeah, we've still got this one all the way down here. Alright, we've got old dude picking up the rock. Then I'm gonna go with the off here. He's got the rock there. Then let's see. Him kneeling down. So okay, so they've tied Ethan up. I'm gonna go with that to Ethan. I mean, I got that. No, we'll go with it, Ethan. I mean, Ethan sounds like a kid, so. We'll go with that. So we've tied him up. And then... I mean, I'm going to go with... This is where you got ran over, obviously. And then... The... Older guy. Potentially the grandfather. But we found it earlier, maybe Ed. Came over and bashed him in the head. And then... We have the final scene. Where we have... Chronologically tag E1. Oh, right, so you can tag the scenes. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go with this is the first because they had to the time up. Right, one. Then that I don't think second, but I think this must be second. And then I feel on third, fourth, fifth. Right, so let's visualize it. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. That's what he is. He is forever. Who is he? Gail, honey, I wish there was another way. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now, I'm giving the sleeper okay, so what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man. You need to go home. <gasps> Fine. like some heavenly shiz going on here. Oh god, I'm stuck in a tree. Where'd it go? Okay, it's there. Grandpa? Stay away! Eeth, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan, 
Oh no. I can't let you do that. Okay then. I'm gonna go with that was Whatever had turned Let's Ethan's see. family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Okay then. So that was the end of the scene too, I assume. Since we saved the scene there. Which was interesting. So we know that Travis was killed by Ethan's grandfather, Ed. Ethan's running away from the grandfather now, which has been taken over by something called the Sleeper, which they all seem to be afraid of. So yeah, that, that was quite interesting. So we'll end the, end the episode here in this scene. So, you know, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, please tune in for the next uh, episode, where we'll go to scene three and figure out what the hell to do there.